Good morning. Welcome to Seraph Hour. We thank God this morning. Let us pray. Father Almighty, we thank you for this morning, for your mercy and us forever. Thank you very much. We praise you. We thank you for this opportunity this morning. Father Almighty, come accept our thanks. We thank you. We sleep safely and wake up safely. It is your power. It is your mercy. Father Almighty, accept our thanks. As we are going through your word this morning and the morning prayer, Father, come and be with us. Come and help us, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. I say good morning, everybody. As you know, my name is Prophet Sabidoye from CNS Paraclet. This morning, we want to talk about um, the prayer of Abraham. The prayer of Abraham. We all know Abraham is our forefathers. We all know Abraham listening to the word of God. We all know that Abraham always followed God's instructions. Oh, this morning, we want to see how he always got up in the morning and pray to God Almighty. As we know, we know Abraham and Sarah was looking for God for the blessing of the womb. But when the time come, the Lord sent three angels to go and visit him as they are going towards Sodom and Gomorrah to destroy that place. We are not going to go through that one this morning, but I want to let us know how he prayed as those three angels came to bless him as they were going. After they left, he kept on praying because they have told him they are going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. But knowing that, Abraham knowing that his brother was there, his cousin was there, he doesn't want them to be destroyed. So he got off early in the morning. If we look into the Genesis 19, verse 27, he said, And Abraham got up in the early morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. He stood there before the Lord, praying for his family that is in Sodom and Gomorrah. He doesn't want them to be destroyed. Already he has asked God, if God will see uh, one faithful people there will he destroy Sodom and Gomorrah? But the Lord, in his only infinite mercy, he did not destroy the Lord, as we all know. We know that Abraham, the friend of the Lord, you see, Abraham is an excellent example of praying in the morning. That is what we want to talk about, how to pray in the morning. When you pray in the morning, your prayer will be answered. As I told you before, when we command the money, command the money, we tell you the day, how you want the day, how it's going to be, what you want that day. Because every day, God has packed full with blessing. It's a packed full of blessing. So it is for you and for me to receive that blessing. But you cannot receive that blessing unless you wake up in the morning to ask God, Father, this is how I want this day to be. Whatever is in this day, in, in, in the blessing, I want you to give it unto me. See, because it's contained a lot of things today. There's obstacles there, there's goodness there, but you need to get up in the morning and ask for that goodness. And I'm sure God will open heavens. He has already even opened heavens. Just ask. You will receive. Uh, Abraham got up early in the morning, as I told you, praying. He had a special place to meet God. You yourself, you have to set a special place to meet God. Some, sometimes some people don't get up on his, on his or her bed. Get up from your bed. Kneel down some, some place, a little corner in your, in your room. A little corner. Sanctify that place for God. I will be meeting God there every morning, every night. And anytime I want to pray, 
because the Bible made the home. Go into your into your room. Ask God. Ask God. God will listen to you. Not when you're going to the street on the highway, everybody seeing you that you are praying. No. In, in your in your closet. Go into your closet. Ask God. He is our good father. He is a faithful father. He is a merciful father. Whatever you ask of him, he is going to give it unto you. That's that's what um, Abraham did. He had a special place to meet God. He did this daily, every day. He never miss it. He never miss it. You see, as we know, uh, the, 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 the other side of the prison, our, our Muslim people, they pray five times a day. The same thing if you can, the Christian one. It is about, about five times. The time of prayer is six o'clock in the morning, three o'clock, twelve o'clock, three o'clock, you know, six o'clock, I mean six o'clock in the morning, twelve o'clock in the midday, three o'clock in the afternoon, six o'clock in the evening. You continue at that nine o'clock. That's about five times a day. You can you can do that too. If you even doing the night AJ, just continue. When you wake up in between twelve and, and, and three. That's the that is time is a powerful prayer being answered from God. You pray vigorously, God will answer you. And in the morning, wake up, five o'clock, wake up, pray unto God. This is what Abraham always do. The Christian too, good Christian, we always get up and pray. Ask God, because God is our almighty God. He's there for us. He's waiting for us to ask. He even said something some that even till now, we did not even ask of God. We did not ask of God. So we just sleep on the bed, just ask him, Father, thank you, thank you. you know, no, ask. It shall be given. Knock the door. The door shall be open. Seek, you will find. That is what the Bible says in the book of Matthew. Abraham is stood before the Lord, waiting for the Lord to speak to him. That's another thing. You have to wait for him. Not you pray, you pray just like that and get up immediately. No, you need to concentrate. You need to med meditate. Meditate on that pray, prayer you pray to God. You want God to speak to you. you are, if you will, He will speak. He always speaks to everybody. In, in your inner heart, there's God there. He's going to speak unto you. You need to wait when you pray. But if you don't get up very early in the morning and you, you are late for your work, there's no time to, to, to live for that time to pray. You say, oh, when I come back, I pray, I pray in the car. No. When you are praying in the car, you are driving, you are concentrating, driving. There's a traffic light. They say, you know, all these things will disturb you. There's no way you can concentrate. But when you wake up very early, wake up very early. Command the morning. Ask God. Like Abraham did. He woke up in the morning. In, 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 in this, in this uh, Genesis um, nineteen twenty seven. You see, they, they say he did it daily, do it every day, in, day out. You see, this is how you become a friend of God. You become a son of God. You become a true son of God. When you are a true son and a true daughter of God, you have to know his mind. We need to know the mind of God. Not everybody that is Christian knows the mind of God. We need to know the mind of God. The mind of God, and God wants you to know His mind. God wants you to know what He what He have for you, what is in the stock for you. This is what all our fathers in those days did. They they move closer to God. They wake up early. They ask God. You too do the same thing. They say He stood before the Lord, waiting for the Lord to speak to Him. Let us wait. To, he, he can speak to us. It's because we are not, you know, we are not patient enough. We need to be patient enough to wait for God to speak to us, to open our inner ear. You see, there is an inner ear, there is outward ear. Inner ear is where you listen to God, and God will speak to you. He always speaks to his children. If we wait for him, if we concentrate, if we meditate, we need to meditate so that God can talk to us. In the book of Second Peter three eighteen says, "But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior." This means we have to study and learn very well. As the, as the, as the plant require air, see when we have a plant, it require air. 
sunshine and food to grow. See? So our physical bodies require food. Sunshine and exercise too. Our spiritual lives also need nourishment every day in order to grow. Then out of your prayer, you need to even look through the word of God. You will grow by them. God will be speaking to you. When you, when you look into the word of God, guess what? You are feeding the spirit in you. Because word of God it is the food of the spirit. It means you are feeding the, 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 the spirit in you. The spirit of you will be growing. You see? You are waking him up. The one that is there will be growing. We wake up, you know. So let us do that. He says, so our physical bodies require food. That physical body, we eat all this, we are, we are eating salad, all those things we are eating to grow, to nourish ourselves. But what about your inner, inner, in, inner spirit? It needs food so, so, as well. Like sunshine and uh, sunshine too. When, when we go out, our body, when we put our body in the sunshine, you know, it's, it's, it's doing good for us as well. We need exercise too. The same thing, our inner spirit. Our spiritual, our spiritual life also need nourishment every day. Our spiritual life need nourishment every day. It means that we pray, we read the Bible, we sing a song of praise, we praise the Lord. You see, sometimes when you praise the Lord, you will be so happy. Because if you are praising the Lord, you connect with God Almighty. We need to connect with Him, connect with our Father. Because up there, those hosts of heaven, they are singing holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, every day, in, day out. That we call 24-7. They never sleep. They never stop. That is why God loved them. There are some angels that is, you can see before the Lord. They can behold the face of the Lord every day, every second of their heavens. So let us do that down here. May the Lord be with, with, with you. Every day in order we should grow in, in spirit. David say in Psalm, in Psalm 5 verse 3, he said, My voice shall thou hear in the morning. How many times did the Lord hear your voice in the morning? God have to be hearing our voice in the morning. Let us talk to him. It's our father. It's just like your father, your ugly father. Ugly mother. You wake up in the morning. Good morning, mommy. Good morning, daddy. You see, it is the same thing. You see, there's one son say, Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. You see, let us say good morning to our Lord. Is 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 the is the author and finisher of our faith. He's our father. Let us speak to him like David did, our father. David is our father. He did it. This word of God, they wrote it down because of you and me. Those people who have walked through it, they have gone. So it is your turn. To do the will of God. It is my turn to do the will of God. Let us do the will of God. There's a lot of people out there. They don't want to do the will of God. Because they think the world is the end of everything. No. No. The world is not the end of anything. The, the, the world is nothing. We just, we are just passing through. We are going back to him. Where we come from. So let us bow down for him. Let us make him our Lord and our Savior. Let us pray to him every day. Let us ask him. Let us meditate with him. Let us sit down side by side with him, front by front, face to face, to talk to our Father. Let us talk to him. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a bad, you know, he's a miracle Father. He will do miracle in your life. Whatever you think is high like mountain, God can surmount it. He is, a, he is a nice God. You should praise him all the time. You see, in the morning, he said, will I direct my prayer unto thee? And will I look up? You see, Jesus not only prayed in this morning, but sometimes pray at night. That's the Jesus, our, our Savior. He's not even in the morning, at night as well. He prayed because he know only prayer. You see, only prayer can save us. Only prayer. Can, can, can do miracle in our life. Prayer can undo, undo. There's nothing prayer cannot do. It's, it's better to pray. You see, he said, the, the, you know, the day is bad, but prayer will, 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 will make that bad, you know, 
take the bag away from the from the day. So may the Lord be with us. May the Lord be with us. He said Jesus only pray in the morning, but sometimes pray at night. If you look at uh, look six verse two, Luke chapter six verse verse twelve, he continue all night in prayer. He continue all night in prayer. You see. Do we continue all night with prayer? No, we keep on sleeping, snoring. Some people, I don't blame anybody, but some people, when they overwork themselves, they don't even remember to pray. In that way, they want to say, when they, if they eat, they just think, hey, that's a good night. Sometimes sleep on the couch. You see, because we are all tired. We overwork ourselves. Our body is tired. We can't even remember. We forgot that in our spirit that we need food. Our inner food, our inner spirit need food of the spirit. The food of the spirit is the word of God, is prayer, is singing song, waking up. Don't let don't let it, our spirit slip up. No, don't let it slip up. May the Lord in his mercy be with us. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Now we are going to pray and this prayer. And I'm going to give you some other prayer so that you can pray throughout the day today because I'm sure God will answer our prayer. Now, I want us to go to prayer. Now, I want you to thank God because He's a merciful God. We need to appreciate Him every second of our life. This Father up there is a great God. If He can make us sleep like somebody that is dead, that he wake us up this morning is a great God. He is a great God. So may the Lord is mercy be with us. Now pray with the anger in your spirit. I want you to pray with the anger in your spirit. Pray in the anger in your spirit. I want you to pray with holy anger. That I mean holy anger. You see, shout. You will shout Jesus Christ three times this morning. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, you are my Lord and my Savior. I thank you for your mighty power, for your mighty protection, that you protect me. You make me sleep safely and you wake me up. It is your hand of, of mercy that wake me up this morning. I am thanking you for your mercy, for you make me alive this morning. Father, accept my thanks. Keep on praying. There's a lot of people that we sleep together yesterday. They are no more to be found. But you have that grace to become alive this morning. Pray of thanksgiving. Pray, pray, pray. Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Father, we praise your holy name. Thank you. We adore you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let us pray, pray this prayer again. In case maybe you had a bad dream, you have to say in the name of Jesus three times. You say, harassment in the dream. You shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us say that. In the mighty name of Jesus. Har harassment in the dream. You shall not come to fulfill in the mighty name of Jesus. Harassment in the dream. You shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Harassment in the dream. You shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Harassment in the dream. You shall not come to pass. In the pray, 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 pray. That harassment in the dream shall not come to pass. In the, come, come, come on, come on, keep on pray, 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 pray. Command it. You harassment of the dream. You shall not come to pass. In the in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, 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 pray. Break the yoke of harassment. Break it this morning. Break the yoke of harassment in the dream. You shall you shall not stand. You shall not come to pass. Break it. Break it. Break it. Harassment from the dream. You shall not stand. You shall not come to pass. Pray, 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 pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Harassment in the dream. You shall not come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Break the yoke of harassment in the dream. You shall not stand. Keep on praying. You shall not stand to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. I want you to pray this prayer again. Please pray. Pray, pray with me. Arrow of tragedy. Shout that one three times. Arrow of tragedy. Arrow of tragedy. Shout that, uh, that one three times. 
and you say arrow of untimely death arrow of untimely death arrow of untimely death you know you have to shout these two things three times let's start again arrow arrow of tragedy arrow of untimely death arrow of tragedy arrow of untimely death arrow of tragedy arrow of untimely death go back to your sender in the mighty name of Jesus, pray, 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 pray. Arrow of tragedy, arrow of untimely death. Oh yeah, go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Arrow of tragedy, arrow of untimely death. Go back, go back to your sender. Direct your sender. Direct your sender. Arrow of tragedy. Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Arrow of untimely death. Go back. Go back to your sender. It is not my Lord. It is not my, my Lord. It is not my portion. Oh yeah, go back. Go back to your, to, to, to your sender. It is not my Lord. It is not your Lord. Pray, 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 pray. How of tragedy must go back to their sender. How of tragedy, how of untimely death shall go back to their sender. It is not your Lord. It is not my Lord. Now, pray, 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 pray. Go back. Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now you shall pray again. Please pray this prayer. Every spiritual coffee shall shout one. Please shout. Every spiritual coffee, every spiritual coffee constructed for my sake. Every spiritual coffee constructed for my sake. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, rose by fire. Rose by fire. Roast, roast, roast by fire. Roast by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spiritual coffin. Roast, roast, roast by fire. Roast by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spiritual coffin. Roast, roast, roast by fire in the pray, 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 pray. Every spiritual coffin, any coffin, any area, anywhere is coming from. Go back to your center and roast by fire. Roast, 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 roast by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus Christ's name. Now, we thank God Almighty. Let us pray for your mercy over everybody. We thank you for this morning. Father, as we are setting our food out today, we have prayed. We have canceled all the, all, all the devilish hand in the night. We have canceled it away. I know you have already canceled it for us. As we are setting our food out today, Father, we are going in your name. Father, come with us. Whatever anybody is out there today, we cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, be our Alpha and Omega. Whatever we lay our hand upon, let it be fruitful. All the children, all the all the, all, the, all our mommy and daddies that are going to work, anybody who are going to their working place, their, their school, wherever. Father Almighty, be the Alpha and Omega. Father, give us your your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. All those people is looking for work. Father, provide for them. All those people who working in the government, Father, come and be with them, oh Lord. All those people that they need you to pray for them, either in sickness, Father, come and heal them. But Father, when they are in poverty, come and change their, their poverty to blessing, oh Lord. Father, I know you are our Father. As we are praying to you this morning, I know you are going to come along with us because we are your children. Father, Father, come and be with us, O oh Lord. Anoint of your Holy Spirit. Mark us with Holy Spirit, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever we set our foot unto this morning and throughout the day, Father Almighty, let we receive joy. Let we receive joy. Let we receive mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Then uh, I want you to do this prayer um, throughout the day. You want to write it down. Number one. You say, I take authority over this day in the name of Jesus. You have to take the authority. I take authority over this day in the mighty name of Jesus. The second one say, I draw upon heavenly resources today in the name of Jesus. I draw upon heavenly resources today in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the third one say, I decree that all the elements of this day will cooperate with me. All the elements of this new day we go operate with me. So shall it be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray. Thank you again. Um, Sarah Fawa, uh, Monday through Friday. Join me again tomorrow morning. 
May the Lord be with you. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Joy.